Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Jonathan sends tough provoking message to political class. All right, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, former president, Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan has urged the political class in Bayesa to imbibe Christian virtue of love, tolerance, and unity to build a united and prosperous state. Jonathan, who spoke at the night Bahesa State Thanksgiving Day in Yenagoa on Monday, noted that politicians in the state should emulate those in the body of Christ who, despite having different denominations and doctrines, unite to advance the Christian faith. The political class should learn from the body of Christ. That is my only message today. There are so many de denominations, but all of them believe in one God, through Christ, and that brings them together always. Jonathan Wu reminded politicians in the state that their primary interest in being in politics is to serve the people and advance their welfare also, called on them to see themselves as friends and work together to develop Bayesa. In Bayesa State, the political class should understand that they, that why we are in politics is to advance the cause of the people. No matter our political parties and interests, we must see ourselves as friends and unite to develop our state. After the elections, what follows is governance. We should support those who, by providence, have emerged victorious in the last elections. We must continue in M we must continue in enmity. Irrespective of our political parties, we must work together and love ourselves. There are places where husband and wife belong to different political parties. Siblings belong to different political parties, but the common interest of the family is retained. Let us retain the common interest of Bayelsa irrespective of our political persuasions if we continue to work together and put the interest of the state ahead of every other thing then surely Bayesa will develop all right that has been said by the ex-president of the federal republic of nigeria dr goodluck ebele jonathan okay that's that had been a very good one a very good advice in fact if a very good wisdom from the ex-president well our prayer is that the the good lord we make him to move from strength to strength and you know understanding wisdom and knowledge that is what we are praying for him well that is it on this one well the thing is we want and we need a good leader who can make things happen in the country who can make things happen we can make everybody to stand on his feet. See, what we are seeing in this country right now is greed. Wickedness of the highest order. All right. And uh, God bless you, sir. More wisdom, more strength, and understanding. Mr. President, extend this message to all Nigerian politicians. All Nigerian politicians. Thank you, sir. Okay, that has been said so far by 24-hour fire service. Okay, namely 24-hour fire service. Okay, at uh, Jonathan Uke, he said, Good luck, Ibele Jonathan. This, your message, should be extended to Nigerian politicians, not only by Esa State, as the case may be. All right. Okay, and uh, Princess has said that what is provoke about this message? i just looking for readers. Okay, I think I got that. So, Nigerians are saying that 
Nigerians are saying that good luck ability Jonathan should extend this to the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a whole. That is what we are talking about right now so that they will be able to do well. And that is it. Let these people do the right thing. You people should talk to yourselves. You have been meeting. Call yourselves that what is happening in this country is uncalled for. Who is actually ruling this country? That's another thing. You people should be able to talk to yourself so that things will work out. Or do you want to tell me what is happening in this country is a good one? Or do you want to tell me what is going on? It's it's normal. You people have to be you know, up and doing. You people should do the right thing because the judgment is, <laughs> is close. And the judgment can come at any time. When you die, that is the end. That comes your judgment. A lot of, the, a lot of them don't know. They believe they own themselves. And God is just watching because he's a merciful God. But the day, hmm, the day you will die, hmm, of which, hmm, okay. Well, I pity some people. They believe that the world is under their feet. They can do and undo. But it is more than that. This is more than that. Let everybody come together. You no, know, A lot of them have been coming out to be denying the lucky shooting that... Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, this whole thing happened, but it was not soldiers that shot at peaceful protesters. A lot of them were just saying what they like because they are still living. They are still breathing. They have not seen the wrath of God. They believe the life is just as simple as they think. And they can play with people's life. They can torment people. They can, you know, they can do any or anything they like and go scot free with people's life hmm. they don't know that god is somewhere watching and the judgment is close they don't know i don't see any reason why because of the things a lot of them want to eat the temporary thing that you want to gain the next thing you started toiling with the life of people you are denying a fact that everybody knows that this actually happened. Everyone knows that a lot of families are, are in agony, in pain right now. And you came out from nowhere. Of which you or ordinarily you know what actually transpired. And you, de you are denying that nothing like that happened. That maybe it's a, it's, it's, it happened from the hoodlums. That it might be the hoodlums that wore soldier uniform. These guys are soldiers and started shooting. Hmm. In a country like this, well, we leave you people in the hands of God. Hmm. And you know, the worst judgment is, hmm, is God's judgment. That's the worst, worst punishment so far. By the time it will start, it's from generation to generation. You better tell the truth henceforth hmm, before it is too late. Alright, that is it, my people, on this one. Well, let me have your take on this and Remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.